Welcome to the Workload Automation video series. Have you just installed Enterprise Manager or recently upgraded and now the forecast server in the CCM won't start? Let's see what the likely cause is here and how we can get it started up. So in the CCM, you may notice that the forecast server is not started with a message about being disabled by the administrator. If you have just recently installed a new Enterprise Manager or are upgrading from an older version of VM, then forecast although available as a component in the CCM, is a licensed product. And as such, it needs to be installed before it can be started and used. So this is true even if you've had Forecast installed in your earlier version of EM. So you can easily tell if Forecast is installed by reviewing your installed versions text file located in the home directory of the EM server. For Windows, this is located by default in a directory like you see here. But check for installed versions.txt wherever you have installed the EM server. So in this example, we see that Forecast is not installed, so I'll need to download it first and then install it. Another way to tell is by looking in the log directory in Enterprise Manager, uh, on the EM server that is. So you will see one or more Forecast logs with information like this where it cannot find the Forecast license file in this case on a Unix host. So here are two examples that we see from both versions 9 and 8. Um, and the message forecast server is not installed or error checking license lets us know that this is the exact reason it won't start in the CCM. So to, to download forecast first, you need to go to bmc.com support and then into the product download section section and of course you'll do this after you log in um, you'll then want to select control m agent server em and then um, pull up that list and from that list find the forecast control and forecast in uh, from the list so here's an example download list from version 9 specifically um, what you'll do is select the file from the for the operating system where your em server is running uh, you'll download that file and then move it to the em server uh, make sure, though, if you're going to use FTP uh, transfers, that you, you use binary mode. Um, this whole process, though, is documented in the Control M installation guide. So to get full specific details, uh, please, please look at that guide. Again, this is a licensed product. So if you see it here in the product download site after you've logged in, this means that you do have access and you can proceed. If it's not here, um, you'll need to contact your sales rep to get uh, assistance in getting access to Forecast. So after you've installed Forecast, though, now you can go back to the CCM, create the component if it's not there, and then start it up, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for checking out this workload automation video on Forecast startup issues. I hope this helps you get Forecast server started after a new EM installation.